sometimes you just want to connect the shapes manually. So let's bring up some shapes right here. So let's say I have a user right here and the user passes through, uh, let's say something like a, uh, like a mobile phone right here. So I'm gonna go over here. So a user passes through a mobile phone right here and the mobile phone connects to a router and the router uh, connects to, uh, let's see, a virtual server right here, right? And the virtual server connects to a firewall. And these may not be an order, I'm not an IT expert. So anyways, let's say you want to connect these up. So what, we, what you want to do is you want to use something called connector because I'm not using smart shapes. To access connector, simply go to home right here and over here you can see connector. So let me just click on that and now you can see that now my cursor changes into a pointer and I can hover around and you can see the shapes actually light up. So I can simply uh, go over here, click and drag and you can see that the shape is connected. I'm gonna click this, drag it out. You can see that that shape is connected. Click and drag that out, that shape is connected. Click and drag out and that is connected. So let's say I have my cell phone. Let's say I have my video phone as well, All right? So video phone also connected to a router and another user right here, just click and drag, click and drag the connector, that user is connected. So let's say a copier is also connected to a router, just like that. All right, and then, so let's say there's another user right there as well, click, drag, and there you go. And now, once I go to the pointer tool, I can move around this, move around the shapes as you can see as well or I can move around the entire shape and the connector stays still. So you can see that the arrows rearrange themselves according to what I did. Oops, control Z right here. Let me just click this, click and drag this out, and you can see that the connector stays put just like that. And everything happens on its own. So that is how you can manually connect shapes inside of Microsoft Video. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.